Hey guys, Alexander here, back with another video in the probability theory series. In this video, I will be introducing to you the uniform distribution, its characteristics, and I will be giving you some motivating examples to help you to better understand this distribution. So what is the uniform distribution? Let's say that for an interval A and B, if we let X be a point that is randomly there from, randomly drawn from, from this interval, then the PDF is a constant function on A and B. That just means that any point, if any point in this interval can be randomly drawn, then that resulting distribution will be a uniform distribution. And the probability density function f of x is a constant and it's given by 1 over b minus a, where b is the upper limit and a is the lower limit. And the support for such a random variable is x has to be less than b and greater than a, and zero other ones. Okay, so if this is the case, then we know that x will be distributed uniformly from a to b, and we often use this to model the arrival of an entity within a period of time. The cumulative density function or the CDF is given by these uh, expressions. It's zero for x is less than or equal to a. It's equal to x minus a over b minus a if x lies between b and a. And it's equal to one if x is greater than or equal to b. So let's derive this cumulative distribution uh, function. Let's start off with the integral because we are dealing with a continuous distribution. The uniform distribution is continuous in an interval. And we start from our lower bound, A, and we go up to the variable of interest, which in this case is lowercase x. And we are integrating B minus A. And let's just say we're integrating with respect to what? D1. Okay? So this integral, this is just a constant. We can bring it outside of the integral, and we know that the remainder simply becomes y evaluated from a to x. So we know that this is equal to x minus a over b minus a, and we know that x has to be less than b and greater than a. For this, so this is the support for this CDF. Okay, so that's how we go about. Um, Deriving the CDF for a uniform distribution if you have if you have forgotten how it is But it's a pretty easy thing to remember. Just remember if whatever your value of interest is subtract it from your lower bound divided by the range of your Support So the highest value of your support to the lowest value. So let me just Go to the next slide So the uniform distribution has these following uh, equations for its expected value, variance, and the moment generating function. In later videos, I will be deriving all of these for you, but I do highly recommend that you memorize these results because they will, they will speed up your ability of doing calculations in a test uh, or if you're doing homework or assignments. So the expected value is a plus b over 2. The variance is the square of b minus a divided by 12. And the moment generating function for a uniform distribution is given by e to the bt minus e to the at divided by t times b minus a. And we know because t is in the denominator, we know that t can't equal to zero. But in the case that t is equal to zero, then we know that this equation, it will simply be one. Because if you look at this, uh, this equation, if you calculate the limits, you will see that if you substitute zero in here, here and at the top here in these exponential functions, then you will see we end up with zero over zero. So we need to go apply the Hopital's rule. And then if we take the, this derivative, the first derivative of the numerator divided by the denominator uh, will give you the answer. Um, resolve that t equals zero will give you the answer at one. Okay. So those are the properties of the uniform distribution, as well as its expected value, its variance, and its moment generating function. In the next slide, we will cover an example of a question that you might encounter if you're dealing with the uniform distribution. So 
Let's suppose that flight times for a flight are distributed uniformly across the interval 300 to 400 minutes. So we know then that, that if we let the flight times, the amount of time taken for the flight, x, denote that by x, be distributed as a uniform random variable with uh, the lower value of 300 and the upper value of 400 for the times that it can, the, this flight can be, its duration can be from 300 to 400 minutes. And then we are asked, what is the probability of a flight taking more than 315 minutes? So we are going to have to go do the integral from 315 to 400 multiplied by 1 over b minus a dx. And we know that this resolves to 0 0.85. Note as well that we know that the, we have derived the CDF which is the probability that x is less than or equal to x. This is equal to x minus a over b minus a. And we can use this as well to calculate this. All we would need to do is we, need to, we would need to say it's going to be 1 minus the probability that is less than or equal to this. So it's 1 minus 315 minus a, which is 300. All of this divided by... 100 because this is 400 minus 300 and then we see this is 1 minus 0 0.15 which is equal to 0 0.85 so we can use the results that we've derived already to go calculate this or i've only shown this integral for you to show you how you would go about doing the whole thing if you if you have forgotten the cdf then the next question is what is the probability of a flight taking between 320 and 340 minutes. So we will need to do the integral from 320 to 340 of 1 over 400 minus 300 dx. And we know that uh, this will resolve to 0 0.2. How do we go about showing that? Well, we can just use the CDF and apply it. So let's say we have this, this line. If you have... Uh, we are interested in the integral from this to this, from 320 to 340, and this is equal to 1 over 100. And this will, is the map of our PDF. This is a graph of our PDF over the values. And this is just from 300 to 400. This is not starting from zero. It's starting from 300 to 400. So we're interested in this area of this square over here. So we can simply do this integration which is very easy to solve or we can use the cdf and we will use it as follows we will say the probability that x is less than or equal to 340 and we will subtract it probability that x is less than or equal to 320 because that will give us the area in between these two okay so if we go and plug that in we will have 340 minus 300 divided by 100, subtracted by 320 minus 300 over 100. And we know that this is equal to 40 minus 20 over 100, which is 20 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.2. So that's how we can use the CDF to do this calculation directly. Or we can simply use the integration of the PDF over the valid ranges. So. The uniform distribution is a very easy uh, distribution in the, among the continuous distributions to understand. It's simply, its probability density function is simply one over the range of your values that, that it can take. So that, that's very simple to integrate. It's very simple to go derive the expected value of variance as well as the moment generating function. So I hope this video has introduced to you the uniform distribution in a manner that is uh, adequate for your, for your uh, courses that you might be taking. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Boer Commander, out.